So hi, everyone. Welcome to AI Robots. Uh, we're going to show you a free open source web tool that we built for integrating vision recognition and other AI capabilities into Microbit. So Brenda and Reed are going to show you some projects. We're writing a book uh, that's going to be published in the summer by Make called AI Robots. Thanks, Andy. It all starts here at the Google Teachable Machine website. We're not going to go through the entire specifics of the website, but it's a massive time saver in creating quick and easy to use TensorFlow.js files for implementing AI in web projects. This specific project is using pose recognition software to look at the body's position and movements. All of our classes are set up with packed data sets that we're going to use to activate our servos. Click train and wait for it to process. Then we can play around and test our AI to make sure it's accurate enough for a project. When we're happy, we simply save the model to the cloud and copy the link it gives us. This will be really important in just a minute. When it's done, now we can head over to the microbit make code website and use Blockly code to give meaning to our classes. Thanks, Brenda. We've set up a few lines of code to open up that connection and store whatever information is sent over this line. After that, it's just a matter of setting up some if statements and activating the classes you made from the Google site. See here, we're just setting up all of our possible inputs and then we add the servo commands to activate the shield. And the beauty of this is that it's so simple to add new classes to essentially create thousands of new unique inputs to bring your microbit project to life. Really just limited by pins and your imagination and how much you want to train the AI. But getting back to the process, when the code is finished, we just simply upload it to the microbit and the hard work is done. The final step takes us to the website where the process is to enjoy the fruits of your labor. We just need to pair the microbit to the website and enter the address we got from step one. And after a few moments, you can see everything pop up on the screen. You can watch the AI make its decisions with a sliding bar on the side. And when it reaches a set threshold level, the microbit is activated. Watch it differentiate between poses and correctly determine when to open the shield, all without pressing a button. But if you thought that was cool, check out these projects that we and some of our close friends around the globe had developed in a recent play in our sessions. This first example here is a high-end version of our project from our AI robots. We've created a skee-ball game that is activated by the AI acting as a coin counter. When the correct coinage is made, the microbit sends some data over the radio to one of its one controlling our machine, activating it. You can also check out this model by Eric Thordensen from Strabis in Sweden. He's made a robot that can sort through colored balls. Beyond the copious amount of parts from his fantastic learning tool, Strabis, He's only using two small servo motors to move the balls and push them into the proper paths. And then a webcam and microbit to so connect them to our site. This tool is really just a great way to add purpose or emotion to your creations as well. Uh, like create a muscle man here or a robot that can tell you what food is good, like cheese there. Or there's even, Strabis has created a little robot that can play peekaboo with you or keep you entertained for hours just by checking uh, the facial recognition patterns. Um, I've created a little living owl type creature um, who I've actually named Archimedes, uh, who's actually able to follow you around the screen based on your simple locations, just based on a left, center, and right. And then I've also added in a couple more things to make it more lifelike, like uh, servos connected by linkages on the back to kind of give it that personal feeling. And if you're really just looking for a fun exhibit, this is something that was created uh, by one of our associates, uh, Jun Havi, um, and he built this amazing self-sufficient roller coaster that you can place that can place the carts back on or the balls back on the cart. Here's the uh, example of the go to class training an AI to recognize their stuffies and answer questions like which one is its birthday, and then activate a thumbs up, thumbs down. So having this kind of the uh, project is connected to what they want to do and things that are important to them really make it a great entry point for AI, for understanding how AI works. So if you think this is interesting, check out the tool, talk to us. We run free play in ours for other educators experiment. And also we collaborate on grant proposals and on uh, staff development and trainings. And of course, stay tuned for our book. We're going to release it, Creative Commons for Educators, as well as being published by Make. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.